Hey, 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 Libras. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Libras. Happy birthday, by the way, to those of you who have birthdays this month in September. And it is my mom's birthday today as I do this reading on the 27th anyway. So happy birthday, mom. And yeah, happy birthday to those upcoming Libra birthdays in October as well. So this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Libra, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. And if you are interested in a personal reading, please do use that link. That'll take you directly to my Etsy shop where you can get a reading from me and know that when you get a reading, you'll always see my face in video and you will always receive a personal unlisted link that's private for you on this channel that will be here forever and ever. So Libra, look at this. You have the sun. The sun has come out tomorrow, or today anyway. The Hierophant, the Knight of Wands, and the Magician, Gemini energy. So you've got Leo energy, Taurus energy, Aries, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Hmm. I feel like I'm seeing your future lit up with this sun card. It's like lighting the way, okay? You're on your way to manifesting something exciting here. I, I'm not feeling that you feel this right now, Libra. I feel it in this Knight of Wands because I feel like this is you. So I feel like This sun is lighting your way. Along this way, there is a spiritual path. That's what I'm getting from the Hierophant. Along this spiritual path is like manifestations. And I feel like these manifestations are a result of this Hierophant, okay? Of this commitment to this path. So let's clarify. And of course, the magician, it's like the manifestations are there, but you don't see it yet. So tell me about the sun. Oops. So you have the five of swords. Oh, okay. Tell me more about the five of swords. The death card. Major transformation. Something's ending so something new can begin. Two of cups. So there may be a relationship that's ending here, okay? Be careful of this Five of Swords energy. This is like winning at all cost energy. So if this is a marriage, and I say that because the Hierophant is marriage. Be careful of who you tell what to because there are frenemies about you. Five of Swords is also frenemies, okay? Clarify this Five of Swords. Why is this here for Libra? This actually may be illuminated to you, these frenemies. King of Wands, this could be an Aries Leo Sag. It's like somebody wants to get in the way of your manifestations. That's what I'm getting with the King of Wands and Five of Swords. Now, whether this is the person that you're separating from or ending, having some sort of ending with, okay, it's like, they're wanting to override what you're trying to manifest. So be careful of lies and manipulation. That's also emotional manipulation here. Mental fuckery. Okay, I can't, I can't say it any other way. Libra. All right, so tell me about the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus, an Aries with the King of Wands, the Hanged Man, waiting. So it may be that... You, what are you waiting for? Do you have to wait for this? 
Two of Swords. Okay, there's a sense of waiting, a feeling stuck. So if this is a divorce, right, for instance, or a separation, there's something that you're waiting on. King of Cups. I feel like this is your intuition, right? Because you're the Empress or Emperor, okay? But you're, it seems like you're in your masculine energy here because it's, you're coming out as the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So I'm getting a lot of masculine energy, regardless of whether you're masculine or feminine, right? So with this, I feel like because of this feeling of stuckness, right? to this, whatever it is you're, you're going to manifest moving forward, you're following your intuition, you're following your heart and you're doing, you're doing it the right way. Cause you don't want to feel this. You don't want to block off your heart chakra. And I feel like you realize this, clarify the Knight of wands. And this is when you get into this Knight of wands stage, five of wands. So there's this internal struggle going on with this feeling of stuckness. Um, Libra, you're going to be getting a lot of attention here with the five of wands. People are going to be wanting your attention. Four of wands. There's major transformation in your home life. Four of wands is home. The queen of wands. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. This is spiritual power. This is manifestation mode. This is you. I love that you're both coming out in the masculine and the feminine Libra. Because even through this struggle, it seems like you're going to find that balance. You're all about balance. And, and it's like you're not accepting anything less than balance. So you're going through the process of feeling stuck, of waiting, but you're allowing your inner voice, your inner heart space to guide you. One moment. Sorry about that. Okay. So this masculine and feminine energy that you're balancing out, I love the feeling that I'm getting here because it's this feeling of, even though you're going through this struggle, this waiting period, this inner sort of turmoil, you're not stopping. You're not stopping in this manifestation, in this desire to manifest moving forward. So what is this manifestation? <laughs> Hang on again. Sorry about that. Phone's ringing off the hook today. All right. So let's clarify the magician. The ace of swords. You're going to get very clear. Once you find this balance within you, you're going to get very clear. You're going to be doing a lot of inner soul searching here with the Page of Swords, the moon. Those hidden aspects of the self, you're, you're about to uncover. And I feel like your intuition is, you're raising your vibration. This is what I'm feeling because of what you're going through and because of where you're going especially you're raising your vibration in a huge way clarify this Ooh, you may uncover something that's hidden clarify the seven of swords what is this the nine of wands temperance okay you're gonna uncover some truth you're about to uncover some truth. Well, not about to. I feel like it's a little ways away. But the Seven of Swords, this angel is guiding you here. One more on this. The High Priestess. See, I told you. Your intuition, your vibration is raising immensely. And you're about to uncover a secret. Now, this could be... A secret about the self but I am and I am getting you're uncovering a lot about yourself that you didn't know okay and this has to do with the power that you hold within but I'm also getting that you're uncovering a secret this clarity and truth is about a secret and it could be about could be a Sagittarius here with the nine of wands could be Aries Leo somebody that's defensive Clarify this nine of wands. I'm curious. Oop. Let's see what this is. 
page of pentacles you may find some sort of some sort of message or you may receive some sort of message what is this i gotta keep looking the hermit okay this is about the self okay page of wands okay so this nine of wands may be you this nine of wands over here I feel like when you go into hermit mode, you're going to uncover some secret about the self, some sort of shadow aspect about the self that you will transmute within you as a result of that transformation, that transmute, uh, transmutation, you're rising to this high priestess here in vibration. So where does this lead Libra to in the end? Like, where is this all leading to? Eight of Cups, walking away from what no longer serves you, okay? Judgment, reconciliation of the soul, an awakening. This is huge, Libra, this is huge. And new love. I'm not going to get into this new love because I'm feeling like they're not going to give me anything on it anyway. And I feel for whoever this is for, it is because concentration needs to be on the self. Concentration needs to be on your inner world, okay? And your desires, your needs, what's going on within you. Because once this all plays out, this is self-love and this is new love. That's what you're getting. So what is your advice, Libra? Whoops. The Emperor and the Four of Cups. Oh my gosh. I'm hearing rejection is God's protection. And this is what the Four of Cups is. Rejection here. Disappointment. I feel like this is you taking control over your life. Over your direction. Over your sovereignty. I feel like this is where they're, they're, they're wanting you to go. Yeah. Move forward. Fast. This is fast movement. This is also the eight hours of love. But I'm feeling more that this is go towards what your love, what your heart desires, what your heart desires. Not what your head desires, what your heart desires. All right. That's where that passion lies. You cannot go wrong there. That's the emperor saying, I'm going in this direction. Nobody's going to say anything different. That's it. I'm concentrating on other things. I don't want your cup. That's what I'm getting from this. This is not a missed opportunity. Okay. I feel like they may present it to you as if you, you will miss an opportunity. Now do pay attention to opportunities outside of whatever it is you're walking away from. You'll know exactly what I mean when you listen to this for whoever this is for. That's what they're saying. So let's get some Oracle cards, Libra. Okay, what's going on? What advice do you have? Precision. The desire to do things precisely is useful as long as it does not devolve into rigidity. Okay. So don't pay attention to perfection. Nothing needs to be done perfectly. Okay. So loosen up on the way that you are looking to complete tasks, say. Okay. I have one more for advice for Libra. One more for advice. Contest. Be yourself fully, and you are without compare. A true winner of the only contest that matters. Exactly. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Because there is only one you. There is no two of you. And you have something unique to offer this world that nobody else can. Everybody does. Everybody on this planet. Okay? Has something to offer the world that only they can offer. Others can try to mimic, others can try to copy, but it is without compare. Just like the person who's trying to copy is without compare, whatever they are offering the world. If they have the courage to express it and find it within them. Okay. All right, Libra, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe. 
if you already have it, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. And please utilize that link in the description box if you are interested in a reading. And know that whenever I do a reading for you, that is tarot card reading, you will see me in the video in the reading. And I will also offer a unlisted link to your video that will be on this channel on YouTube forever and ever. You have yourself a fantastic day and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste Libra.